Well, depending on whether you're like Vince and like to water your lawn, you're either very happy or upset that we're getting rain today. You know, <laughs> I don't bring the she's lawn up. You guys, she's, right. she's new and already bugging me about the lawn. We're gonna I get just lawn don't like to drag out the sprinklers, well. but this is going to be great. It's been Unless dry. it goes all around you, like it typically does. Because <laughs> right, the force it's been dry. This house. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's just, escaping this today, right? At no, some there's, point. There's, there's rain all right. over the place. Let's take a look what's going on on our Viper HD. I really like you already. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> they, they, you came here, even though you met us, you still came here. That says a lot about you. It does. You're strong. Uh, there's some scattered light rain showers making their way towards uh, Vinny's house. Uh, Waukesha seeing the heavier downpours. It's going to roll into Washington and Ozaki County. Everything moving off to the northeast. We will gradually taper this off and we'll see these rounds of scattered showers. No severe weather today, but there will be rounds of showers and downpours throughout the afternoon and especially this evening and overnight. It becomes more likely later on. Take a look at the graphics. You can see we're pretty much painted in with the rain showers today, but once again, not an all day rain. It'll be hit and miss. This first batch moves through, and then a better chance more for this evening and tonight. Tomorrow we'll get a little bit of a break. Well, there'll be a few spotty showers during the afternoon, but as you get later in the day, toward the evening and overnight, all this rain back off to the west is going to start moving in here. There will be some heavy rain. Western Wisconsin could, could pick up one to two inches of rain just tomorrow night. In addition to today, tonight, and even into Saturday, severe thunderstorms to our southwest. And all this starts to work its way in here because it's going to get here later in the day. I think our severe weather threat is pretty limited. It's from central Wisconsin and westward, but heavy rain is likely uh, Friday evening and Friday night. It is foggy in Port Washington, pretty much all along the lakefront as those dew points have jumped up significantly from yesterday. That nice dry air that we had that fall air. Now it's humid once again. The humidity at 73%. We're seeing in Kenosha at 71, 72 in Fond du Lac, 67 in Watertown. Uh, the dew points that I mentioned are up back into the 60s, but back off to the western in the 30s and 40s. That drier air does not get here until Saturday late afternoon and evening. So we'll continue with the humidity for today, tonight, and for tomorrow, even the first part of Saturday. And then here comes that fall crisp air for Sunday, Monday, and early next week. Fog off and on today, especially along the lake. More fog tonight with lows in the 60s and scattered rain showers. Then for tomorrow, a southerly wind, despite the cloud cover, We'll get back into the mid to upper 70s, even some lower 80s where the sun will try to pop out here and there. An isolated shower afternoon becoming likely tomorrow evening and tomorrow night with heavy rainfall possible. There's your first batch of rain for today and tonight. Second batch comes in here later tomorrow and into Saturday before drying out. 76 today, scattered thunder showers, mostly cloudy. Tonight, 64, some patchy fog and thunderstorms likely. Your 10 day outlook. 78 on Friday, 73 on Saturday, and Sunday that chance of rain is very slight in the morning hours, and then next week looks to be drying out and warming back up to around 70 degrees. And before we go, let's check in with Susan Kim and see how see some of those today's best shots. Whether you live downtown or out in Lake Country, there are beautiful pictures to be taken everywhere in Wisconsin. Ryan tells us he likes to take morning and evening walks in Belgium and Cedar Grove. He sent in these two photos from one of his walks. John sent in this picture of the Milwaukee skyline taken by his daughter Sarah. And Travis sent us this photo of a sunset at Nagawika Lake. Send your pretty pictures to us at icontribute at tmj4.com and they could end up on television.